congratulations to all of you on this film. Uh, hard to know where to start, but probably that moment when Jojo, when you fuck off Hitler. <laughs> Why don't we start there? Such a powerful moment. Uh, Taika, can you tell us about just the desire to tell this story and to do what you did with this particular moment in history? Um, well, I was, um, I'm a massive fan of World War II. Uh, <laughs> I, I, grew, I grew up, um, my father's father, so I guess my grandfather, technically, um, he fought in World War II, fought Nazis, um, and so, and, and I was always obsessed by that as a child and always watched a lot of the, you know, a lot of films and, um, and I, yeah, for me, it, there was a, a clear delineation between the good guys and the bad guys and, um, you know, um, yeah, growing up, that was, for me, like, that was, like, the, I don't know why, <laughs> The, the best war, but, um, <laughs> but, um, the, <laughs> but, yeah, so, I, you know, I, I grew up knowing, you know, like, but, and then my mother's, and my mother's, like, uh, you know, the uh, Russian Jews who escaped the pogroms that came to New Zealand, of all places, um, <laughs> why would you go there? Uh, and, and so I grew up, having a very clear idea of, um, I feel, what was good and what was bad. And, um, and I feel like these days, uh, and I said this last night, you know, but, um, it's, for me it's very important that, um, that we, just, <laughs> there's, there's a bug. <laughs> um, for me, <laughs> Uh, for me, the, um, it, it, it's very important that we keep telling these stories, but um, in, in very different ways. And you know, yes, sometimes you've got to use uh, magic, you've got to use um, fantasy, you've got to use imaginary friends and things like that to keep the story interesting. And um, I think with any story that keeps getting told throughout human history, you always have to embellish, you always have to keep uh, changing it up, making it more interesting. And um, I think we're in danger a little bit of, um, of humans are apathetic, humans get lazy. And I think right now, today, we are a little bit in danger of um, forgetting what happened uh, in, for, between 1933 and 1945, and um, we need to keep telling these stories. And I think some people go, oh, no, another World War II movie. Oh, God. Yeah, we get it. But we don't because we are forgetting. And there was a poll that was taken uh, in America and a uh, very high statistic was that... Um, I'm going to make up a number, and you guys can uh, tell me that I'm wrong. But I'm going to, I'm going to I'll make up a big number. But it was, um, you know, some, it was like they, they asked a lot of the American youth um, what uh, Auschwitz meant. What was it? And uh, let's say 40% of the people they asked had no idea. What the, what the word was, what it meant, what the camp was, and uh, the fact that it's less than 100 years uh, since the atrocities is shocking to me. And uh, you know, I think it's, it's not good enough that uh, our youth don't know what that meant. Arthur, it is a very important story to tell, but it is told as a movie with a lot of comedy in it. And as the producer going out to pitch this movie, get the money together, get everybody on board, did you have a hard time? Were people afraid of Jojo Rabbit? I didn't have a hard time because of this man. 
was doing all the pitching. <laughs> uh, but Taika, um, you know, he's got that amazing balance between comedy and heart, and I work with him on Hunt for the Water People, and I just sort of trust that inherently he can weave the comedy and the heart together, and I think he's done that again in this film, and, and we can, we've seen that tonight. Thank you. Uh, and uh, Roman, for you, you're carrying this movie. You're the heart of Jojo Rabbit. You're the title character. It's a tough role to play. And you have to work with this gentleman over here. <laughs> what was that like? What was he like as a director for you? No, he, he was be, great. Do you, do you just, oh, do you be very sorry. careful. Sorry. I can take this all away from you. <laughs> OK. Oof. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, he was a great director. He taught me a lot about life and energy and film, and good. He, he had good taste in music. <laughs> yeah, is that is that good? As okay, we, okay. As, as we as we as we practiced. <laughs> yeah, as we practiced. As yeah. we rehearsed. Yes. Yep. Keep going. Oh, what's the other thing he taught me? Oh, he was uh, also amazing at guitar. Yeah. No. And um, I'm a decent person. He's a great person. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, you heard it. Yeah. <laughs> but but actually we looked all over the world for our Jojo and when we when we first met Roman it was we you just had an incredible focus like you were just wouldn't take your eyes off Taika you just showed us the in, incredible intensity that you had to, and the range you had it was amazing Roman so you did a great great yes, job and Roman yeah thank you. thank you Um, I've worked with a lot of uh, children. They're the worst. Uh, but uh, it's true what they say. Don't work with them. Don't work with them. Um, I just didn't listen for five movies. And, um, but no, I, seriously, the, when, I, when I try and find uh, kids to, to be in these films, um, the, for me the key is finding someone who embodies the character that I'm that I'm trying to put in the film and or, or, or what I've written. And um, and this bug, man, that fucking bug. <laughs> um, but Roman uh, is one of the most sensitive and loving and um, engaged people I've met, uh, despite his age. <laughs> and um, and it, it, just, it just blew me away. It just He came in and you can tell them. You, know, you felt when you came in, you, and what, what, when you read the script, we didn't practice this. <laughs> no, I was very nervous and excited to. I was very. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> I was very nervous and excited to play the part, but Ty can help me a lot with that. Was that good? That's great. Okay. We want to no, leave you do better. Okay. We want to leave a little bit of time for your questions as well. So can we bring the lights up a little bit and? Uh, if you've got a question, I see up in the balcony, I think it's the back row, please. Yes, go ahead. The question is about how did you balance the comedy and the drama? Um, well, uh, uh, if you've seen most of my films, uh, pretty much the same balance of, um, and it takes a long time and, and usually in the editing to um, to yeah to find that balance between between comedy pathos and um, for me that's what life is it's not it's like, you know but especially my life is a mixture of drama and um, hilarity and yeah. There's never, it's never one or the other. And so I can't make like a gritty, raw drama when it's like, oh, this is a hard hitting drama. And I, yeah, oh, yeah, no, it's just like a deep penetration into the human condition. Uh, I can't do that. Well, I can't. And also, I can't make it where it's comedy, but it's just like, oh, it's like, oh, 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 oh yeah, it's just jokey, jokey, jokey. Um, it, for me, it has to be a mix, so, because um, that's, that's what life is. Um, but it is, it, for me, that's exactly what every day for every single person in the world is a mix. 
and um, and that's 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 my jam. <laughs> All right, let's go right here. Yes. How do you give endearing qualities to Nazi characters without going too far? Um, well, well, three people living there. Uh, <laughs> I haven't asked the question yet. Come back. Um, well, <laughs> well, again, as I said before, like you know, I've always been fascinated by this particular war, um, and, you, you know, like, Rommel, great, uh, great general, and, uh, you know, fantastic uh, member of the uh, German army, but wasn't officially a Nazi, didn't want to be a Nazi, tried to kill Hitler. Um, so, you know, so there were many people who were patriots, but not part of the party. So for me, the, I, I think, look, humans are humans and you aren't born evil, okay? So for me, um, you know, after becoming a father, uh, I, you know, I, I really realized that it's, it takes a lot to uh, indoctrinate children and to rear children and bring them up to be assholes, <laughs> essentially. So, you know, so, and, and, you know, a lot of these kids were, so, the, so I did a lot of research into the Hitler Youth, and, you know, these kids were um, encouraged to, uh, to, um, to sell their parents out, and they were encouraged to, um, to, to reject their parents' advice, you know, to, doesn't matter if you know, the parents were into the party or not, and they were, you know, they they were told your father is Adolf Hitler, and so for me, I feel like you know, it's, it, humans are humans, and um, and without I don't want to say this dumb quote by this asshole that's in power, but you know, yes. Definitely in Germany, there were good people. So I don't want to, you know, say every German was a prick in that time, because they, you know, they, they weren't all uh, pricks. Does that make sense? Does it make sense? All right. Thank you. Um, we're just going to go with no, two people leaving. We've got one quick more question. Then we're going to have to go. Yes. I think the question is about the, the final song, Heroes, and the, the, the Bowie German version of it. Yeah, um, well, um, he's, he's one of my heroes. Um, and yes, and, but and, well, you probably know, you know like, I think the, the theme and the message of the song. Um, and for me, it's about this guy, um, making one small effort to be a hero in a moment where, you know, he has spent the majority of his life up until, you know, the point he's ten and a half, um, you, not being a hero at all. And then just making one small gesture towards someone to, um, you know, to help them escape from his house. But, um, you know, and to, to be a hero. And for me, that's, that's what the song means. It is possible to unlearn hate. Yeah. Absolutely, yeah. Okay. All right, we're going to have to leave it there. Unfortunately, we're out of time. So I'll just ask you to join me in thanking Thank again the team from Jojo Rabbit. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.
Oh my.